guys welcome back to my channel I'm back I'm officially back so today I'm gonna be talking about my updated hygiene routine this has been highly highly requested but before I get started I did lighten my hair so my hair is like a light brown kind of like with some blonde ish highlights and then it's still dark at the roots I went in for balayage on Thursday and because I constantly dyed my hair with a black box dye, it was incredibly hard to lift my hair. And the stylist that I went to was really great. She refused to do my hair too light because she was scared for the integrity of my hair. My hair is pretty brittle and weak right now because going from black to a light blondish brown color is incredibly damaging to your hair we used Olaplex on my hair which is amazing if you don't know what Olaplex is google it I went to a Europa hair salon this is the lightest that it would go and I cannot dye it for a while hopefully I can like repair my hair as quickly as possible I wanted to go to Ulta today to actually buy some Purology shampoo and conditioner and I did want to buy like a purple conditioner too to hopefully lighten my hair a little bit I probably should have done a whole video on my hair because I can talk about it for days and days I kind of miss my black hair um, because I'm just so used to it, but I'm excited for it to get lighter. This isn't the final stage. That's why I kind of feel like eh about it. Like I like it, but first of all, I'm not used to it. And second of all, this isn't what I want. So it's just kind of a process. It's like that awkward stage. It's like that awkward stage when you have short hair and you are dying for it to become a ponytail. And like you can do a ponytail, but there's like that awkward stage of baby hairs at the bottom, that's how I feel right now. It's like that middle stage and it's bothering to me because I'm the type of person that I just want what I want. But I also had to consider that I have to take it slow and if I went to any old salon, they would just dye my hair, bleach it, they can go platinum if they wanted to. But they weren't going to really care about the integrity of my hair, the strength of my hair, the length of my hair. I did cut it as well. But anyway, yeah, that's how it's going to look for a little bit. Maybe if I decide to dye it black, who knows, but let's just move on. So I'm going to talk about my hygiene routine. I haven't done one of these in a while. I think it's been like two years or maybe a year. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Um, I kind of even just forgot what a hygiene routine was and like what am I supposed to talk about. So it's not a hair care routine. It's not a skin care routine. It's literally just bath and I was about to say Bath and Body Works. It's just like a bath product video. So I guess I'll get started with what I use in the shower. I love, love shower gels now. To clean my private girl areas and sensitive areas, I use a white bar soap. The Dove Sensitive one. This plain old white soap that's not scented because it's the most gentle on your skin. And you don't want to use any fragrance down there if you know what I mean. But... Aside from that, for my body, I love to use shower gel. I have two here. The one that I'm currently using that's in my shower is Mad About You, and I love the Bath & Body Works shower gels. They are amazing. My skin always smells really good, and it's always soft, and it's not irritating to me. So this one's Mad About You, and then I have this other one, which I'm going to use next, A Thousand Wishes. I literally stock up on these when they have sales. The one that I'm currently using, Mad About You, is a sweet scent. I typically go for sweet scents uh, for my shower gels, and then I also still use my Caress body gels but I haven't really repurchased those just because I have a whole bunch of these that I have to get through so that's what I've been using for my shower gel and I literally just wash my whole body I haven't been using a loofah just because I threw mine out after a while I throw mine out and I just never got around to buying a new one but I definitely have to pick one up because using a loofah is definitely going to lather up your body gel and your body wash and it's gonna give you a good foamy you know lather so I've just been using my hands to exfoliate my skin, I've been using the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. So this is the exfoliator that I use. It's in Hawaiian Kukui. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This definitely gets down to the nitty and gritty and takes off like a skin layer. I swear this stuff is super extreme. But it's also moisturizing because it does have shea butter and I love this scent it's so sexy it's like one of the only scents that I like from the line so again it's Hawaiian Kukui and every time I see it Ulta I pick one up because I love this stuff and I usually use this on my chest area on my legs and yeah that's what I use but when I'm feeling a little sensitive if my skin has been reacting or I shaved a little too hard or my skin has just been really dry or I don't know I just don't want to irritate it by exfoliating too hard I'll use the Lush Rub 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 Shower Scrub. It smells really good. It has fresh orange blossoms and I love Lush. It's kind of pricey when you go in there because you want everything, but I do love Lush. This one is just a blue 
so pretty like a blue exfoliator it's kind of liquidy it's like sea salt with orange and I would never think I would like something like that and I do I love it so much it smells so good and it's really finely milled it's not like a chunky exfoliator like this one is so this one's really tiny little scrubs and I feel like the sea salt really refreshes my skin and makes it feel really like moist and fresh and not irritated so I love this one and I love the scent I honestly just use this because the scent and I mainly use this on my upper body like on my arms and my chest I always drop it in the shower and I never have the top screwed on so I'm always wasting it which gets me really angry in the shower I also have been using the L'Occitane shower oil and this one is just a little baby one it's brand new I went through a whole bunch of samples like the VIB samples from Sephora Kathleen Lights talked about it, so of course I had to go get it. I've been using this as a shaving cream, so it's really unique. It's a shower oil. It's made with almond oil, so it does have that almond scent. I'm actually going to show you another product with an almond scent, and I never used to like almond scented products, but somehow they've just grown on me. So what you do is you just pour a little bit onto your hand. You can just use it as like a shower oil. You don't have to shave with it, but... What I like about it is that it doesn't really lather up, but if you rub it in enough, it will. It kind of creates like a creamy texture, and I like to use this on my legs to shave. I don't really like it under my arms to shave. This enables me to get a really close shave, which is what I love. I used to use the EOS, and I still do use that, but I've been switching to this, and my legs have been really, really soft, and I'm really lazy when it comes to shaving my legs. But using this kind of makes it feel luxurious. Again, you could use this just as a shower oil. And sometimes I do if I'm feeling really dry. I'll use this as my shower oil because it is very moisturizing. So I like that. Again, find L'Occitane and you can get it at Sephora. L'Occitane also has a whole bunch of sales when you go into the store, which is amazing. So I also wanted to talk about soap. Now, I've always really been into really good smelling soaps. I'm not your dial kind of girl. I mean, if all I have is dial, obviously I'll use it. But... I love Bath & Body Works hand soaps. This one's from the Holiday Collection, so it's called Fresh Sparkling Snow. Something about the foaming ones, just they leave my hands moisturized and they smell amazing. Like my hands actually smell like the soap. And because I am freelancing more, having like good smelling everything is really, really important. I mean, obviously, if you look at my other hygiene routines and other favorites videos, I've always talked about these, but now I'm just like obsessed with washing my hands even more. And because I have fake nails, I really like to clean the inside, just kind of like scrubbing on the inside with my other hand, just kind of getting all that like dirt and makeup out. And I don't really like the other soap that they have, the antibacterial one. It's a little more extreme. I like this one because it's a lot more gentle. Next, I want to talk about deodorant. I pretty much have nothing left of this, but this is the Degree Dry Spray Shower Clean. And I used to use the Degree Shower Clean, the stick, but it left a lot of white marks on my skin, on my clothes. It drove me absolutely crazy. I do miss it because I'm not crazy, crazy about this, but I do like it. The pro is that, you know, it's not messy. It's quick. You literally just spray your underarms. If you have a tank top on, you can still spray yourself. It's not going to get on your clothes. And it smells amazing because the Shower Clean is the scent that I use for Degree. But the only thing that I don't like is it kind of irritates me if I use a little too much and I use it like directly after shaving my underarms and I get out of the shower and I spray. If I shaved a little too hard, this will kind of irritate it. I mean, obviously it's my fault for shaving too hard, but the stick I felt was a little more gentle and forgiving. The motion sense, so when you sweat, you're not supposed to stink. Um, I've never really been one to have like smelly under underarms, so I do like it. I mean, I went through the whole bottle, so obviously I like it. Speaking of underarms, I also wanted to mention this Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. These are odor neutralizing coconut milk deodorant wipes. They don't have any harsh chemicals. You can find these at Target. What I like about these is you can throw them in your purse. And let's say you're going to the gym, you're going for a hike, or I don't know, you're just going to be sweating all day, or you're someone who sweats a lot, but you don't really want to apply deodorant more and more and more throughout the day. Because sometimes what happens is... You apply deodorant and then you apply again. It kind of just gets a little too thick in there. So I know this is kind of gross. But this is cool because it's like odor reducing and natural. So you can literally just wipe your underarms. And if you are a sweaty girl, you would definitely love these. And you can bring them to the gym. They don't look like, oh, really embarrassing or anything. They're, they're really cute. And they also have like makeup removing ones. Get yourself some underarm deodorant wipes. Yes. And now let's talk about lotion. The lotion that I went through, and I've been using this for a while, 
was by Silk and Glory, and this is the Righteous Butter Body Lotion. And this has shea butter, almond oil, aloe vera, glycerin, rose hip seed, vitamin E. I love this stuff. At first, I was kind of like, eh, about it because I feel like it wasn't moisturizing enough. But as I use it more and more, I realized it really is. I used to use the Nivea, and I use that in the winter time. What I love about this is the scent. It smells divine. It's like a candy, but not overbearingly sweet. It's just amazing. It smells classic. Like, it smells great. You should definitely try this. I believe they have a small version of this. For some reason, it's always now sold out on Sephora, and it was on sale. So I hope they're not discontinuing it, and I... And I think they're just as continuing Soap and Glory from Sephora, and I hope they're not. Because I've noticed that a lot of things are going on sale, and I cannot get them. So I'm going to have to pick one up in store, because I have, like, a pinch left. It does give you that nice, like, smooth look, and it's very hydrating, and I love it. I decided to just take the plunge. It was a VIB sale, and I went for the Laura Mercier Body Bath Almond Coconut Milk Souffle Body Cream. Look at the jar. It's so amazingly luxurious. It looks like it belongs in a spa, or, I don't know, like in your mom's like vanity that you can't touch. When I saw the price tag, it was 60 bucks and I said no. Like I'm not doing that. I will stick to my Nivea 6.99 on sale at Rite Aid. But like I said, I had the 15% off and I was like, "Eh, I really like it." And what really intrigued me about this was the scent because it's almonds. It's really strong. Like it's a it's a strong almond scent, and I never used to like almond scent, and I really already just like dug a hole into mine. I don't know, it soaks into my skin really quickly. Like today, my skin was really dehydrated. For some reason, when I got to shower, it was irritated, it was red. So I applied this, and normally when I apply this, it leaves a nice coat of shine and moisture, but it soaked into my skin. My legs still kind of felt dry after, and I realized like, okay, that means my skin has been really dry, and it has been. It's been irritated, dry, I don't know what's going on, but... I do love this. I use this every single day now. I told myself I would only use it for luxurious days, but who am I kidding? I have it. I own it, so might as well use it. So let me know if you guys like Laura Mercier body products. I definitely want to get the exfoliator. That's also, I think, 60 bucks. so I don't know about that. The L'Occitane is also pretty pricey. This little bottle was $10, and the big one's like $46. But it's worth it to get the big bottle because you do use it a lot like especially if you're gonna shave with it and use it as a shower oil okay that's it oh my god <laughs> I just realized I went through my whole oh wait no I'm lying my foot cream this is also by soap and glory this is their heel genius my feet like I don't know I got like a janky pedicure once I always go to really nice salons for my pedicures but that doesn't mean that they're using like the right utensils I got a pedicure once, I don't remember which salon it was, and my feet have been dry ever since. Like, I don't know what they did, I think they like scraped it too much, or ever since then, like, even if I get jelly pedicures, this type of pedicure, that type of pedicure, my feet have been dry, and not even this is saving me, which says a lot, because this is like a miracle in a bottle. Uh, all winter, and for like years, I've been using this, and it's just a foot cream, it says it's better than a pedicure. You put this on at night, you really lather it up on your feet, you put a, like a generous amount, put on some socks and go to sleep, and you wake up with really soft feet. But my feet have just not, they haven't liked anything, not the Laura Mercier, not anything, so I don't know, I'm just kind of sad about that because I take a lot of pride in my feet, even though I don't like feet, I want my feet to look really soft and smooth, so I'm out of this, and they didn't have it on Sephora.com, which bums me out, so Soap and Glory and Sephora, you guys better get it together. Okay, now that's officially all the products that I've been using for my hygiene routine. Pretty simple. I know this is kind of a weird video to watch. I've always said it, like, I'm very proud of it. I always smell good. Like, I don't care. I don't know if that sounds cocky or what, but literally, I always make sure I smell amazing. Even if I walk out with no makeup, my hair's wet, I make sure I spray myself with a whole bunch of perfume. Speaking of perfume, I will have an updated perfume collection video. Let me know if you want to see the collection video or just, like, my new perfumes. So I feel like it's kind of redundant to go over all the perfumes I've already talked about. It's kind of boring. So I think I'm going to do like all my new perfumes slash my favorites. All the new ones are my favorites. But I do have quite a few new ones and a, quite a few that I still want to get. So I will be filming that uh, most likely tomorrow. So look out for that. So that is it for this video. Also look out for an update video. I don't really have much of an update to talk about but... Basically saying that I'm back and I will definitely be making more videos and I'm graduating next month, fingers crossed. 
So I will definitely have a lot more time to dedicate to YouTube and I'm really excited about it. I also have a huge bag of goodies to give away. And I'm thinking of just doing it now. I'm almost at 175k. It doesn't really matter about the number. I just want to give it to you guys. I will probably be filming that soon because I really want to get these products out to you. I was blessed with a really nice goodie bag and I just want to give it all to you. So look out for that. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for your sweet words. I know not everyone's a fan of this hair, but I do like it and I'm just excited to see the progress and the process because it's not done like I said. So if you don't like it, please don't be mean and rude because it's my hair. It is what it is. I dyed it and you don't have to love it, but I could always dye it black. Don't worry. I know a lot of people like liked my channel because of my black hair, but I just needed a change. I needed a little spruce. I felt a little blah and like boring and just every day seeing the same hair, it was just getting really repetitive. I've had black hair my whole life, um, except for one time when I went half blonde, but anyway. I don't know, I, I just, I needed something different, so this is my something different. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>